It's the Big 8 Battle of the Year. Nebraska and Colorado coming up next. CFA Saturday, we bring you 25 miles due northwest of Denver to Boulder. Set against the Rocky Mountain Range, this rugged landscape is home to the University of Colorado. It's where the deer and Colorado buffaloes roam. It truly is a Rocky Mountain high, over a mile above sea level. And today there is something special in this rarefied air. It's a football showdown. Third ranked Nebraska about to collide with second ranked Colorado. And we welcome you live to the color of college football. The fans dressed in black and gold for Colorado and red for Nebraska. But at stake today is 100% pure orange. So the Cornhuskers' Chris Drennan will kick. Colorado leads the country in kick returns. They won't have a shot at this one. It bounces through the end zone. It's led by Darian Hagan, the sophomore quarterback who has rushed five times this year for over 100 yards. Eric Kissick, a blocking fullback. And the speedster, J.J. Flanagan. On a wing, it's Mike Pritchard. And a wide receiver, Jeff Campbell. Out of the eye. Flag is down. Looked like Nebraska jumps. Hagan now will tuck it under. And he's to the 34-yard line. Tackled by Tahan Lewis. A 14-yard pickup by Hagan. Pritchard comes out in motion. Nelson is the receiver. Hagan almost tripped, and the ball is batted down by Mills. Campbell at the top of your screen. Buffs lining up in the power eye, and they run it with J.J. Flanagan in a gain of two. Five foot ten, Mike Murray is the nose tackle for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Ray Valido and Kent Wells on the defensive line. Linebackers, Petco in on that last tackle, and Pat Tyrants. Also, Jeff Mills, who batted down that pass a moment ago, and Mike Kroll. Third and seven, MJ Nelson to the left, Pritchard to the right. And the audible by Hagan. He sets Parrott to the tight end, back on the right side. Play action. Hagan throwing, and it's intercepted. Yes, it's intercepted by the Cornhuskers' Tyrone Bird. The freshman, Carpenter, the lone setback behind Jerry Kodowski, the quarterback. Looking pass, setting up a screen. They go to Carpenter. He gets away from Salavia and cuts back to the middle. He's got room inside the 40. Inside the 30, he's going to score. Nebraska on the first play of the day for Nebraska. 51 yards and a touchdown. is down. No, well, the flag is not down, and the kick is good. Jim, this play was set up beautifully. Three offensive linemen in front of Carpenter, and then his eyes. You see his head up the whole time. He picked up those blocks, read them beautiful, beautifully, and cut back into the end zone. A terrific call on the first play of the game. You're facing an emotional team that's trying to put pressure on a guy. You come back with the screenplay. Nice first call. But give up a quick seven here. Drennan kicks again. Pritchard fields it at the goal line, hesitates, and now kneels. Touchback. It's only the third time this year Colorado has trailed in a game. Another flag is down. I believe Nebraska jumped again. And Jay Lewenberg is the center for Colorado, arguably the best offensive line in the country. Joe Garton at guard along with Darren Muhlenberg. And the tackles are Bill Coleman and Mark Vanderpool. John Perrick, the tight end. Offside on the defense. It'll be first and five. But today they're going to have to be patient. First and five. Hemingway is the fullback now. And Flanagan, the tailback, gets the carry, but only a yard. In the defensive backfield for Nebraska, Bruce Pickens at one corner. And Tyrone Leggett. The safeties, Reggie Cooper and Tyrone Bird already made the interception that set up the first touchdown. They were going to win a national championship. They needed more speed. We'll call it no gain for Flanagan. Second and five up the middle with Hemingway. Have to get to the 30-yard line for the first down. 
Kissick's back in at fullback. Colorado is a perfect 17 for 17 this year on third and one. They have never failed. And that streak continues as Flanagan. First and 10. Look out. Hagan is knocked down. Knocked down by Kenny Walker. And if there's an audible or an adjustment on defense, one of the outside linebackers will touch his back. Lost his hearing at the age of two after a high fever. Second and 19, the run, Flanagan. And again, it's Walker on the tackle. Campbell to the left, Pritchard to the right. No flag at the line. Hagan's going long. Campbell's the man down there. Incomplete at the 25-yard line. Colorado averaging over 46 yards a punt. Tyrone Hughes on the return for Nebraska. He makes the fair catch. Did not have a chance to meet the Cornhuskers before. Let's meet him now. Godowski at quarterback. Carpenter, the fullback, who scored the touchdown. Ken Clark at tailback. On a wing, Richard Bell. And the split end for Nebraska is Morgan Gregory. Second snap of the day for Nebraska. They run it with Clark. He's past the 30 to the 31-yard line. That defensive front for Colorado. Youngest starter on defense, by the way, a sophomore. Arthur Walker and Oakland Salavia are the defensive tackles. What a linebacking core they have. Terry Johnson and Michael Jones. They're in on a lot of tackles. And on the outside, they can come up with big plays. Alfred Williams and Canavis McGee. Best front seven I have seen this year, Jim. Second and six for Nebraska. Getting the pass away intended for Nate Turner. Nebraska's got a good one as well. Jake Young in All-America last year. Jim Wanick and Bill Bobora at guard. And the tackles, Tom Punt and Doug Glazier. The tight end is Monty Kratzenstein. Chris Garrett is the extra tight end. Out of the eye. Fumbled on the exchange. Godowski falls on it. And Nebraska, it's good. Jeff Campbell returns for Colorado. Fair catch call by Campbell at the 30-yard line. <laughs> uh, deflation. Running the option on first down. Hagan has it. He has room. He's got one man to beat. Now he pitches to Flanagan, and he may take it all the way. Flanagan's in for the touchdown. with the extra point and it's tied at seven and the interesting thing here jim is the way they've been able to respond not behind much but they come right back with one more big play and that was pretty well defensed by osborne with just tremendous athletic ability by hagan and flanagan for the court Huskers. Big kick by Culbertson. Flies through the end zone. And Running right with Clark. No gain. Tackled by Alfred Williams. Second and ten. Clark is going to be dropped by Williams for a loss. It's third and 15. Nate Turner comes in as a receiver. Godowski hands off inside to Carpenter, and only a gain of two. Campbell leads the Big 8 in punt returns. Short boot coming to midfield. Campbell will run right. Gets away from the wave. He's got room. Inside the 30. Out of bounds, inside of the 5. Play well together. First and goal from the 4. Out of the power eye, running the option, and going with Flanagan on the pitch. He is hunted down by Tyrone Bird for a loss on the play. Second and goal from the six, Hemingway in at fullback. Hagan will keep up right tackle, gets to the one-yard line. Mike Murray wrapped him up at the one. And in short yardage and goal line, low man wins. Running the option. 
possession. Hagen will keep, and he'll go in untouched. Four for 44 on the year, and stays true. What makes this Colorado team so hard to defend is they can hammer the ball inside with a big fullback, so you have to respect that. You respect the inside fake, but then you got speed on the outside. And again, that play was pretty well defended, and that's what makes them so hard to defend. Even when you defend them well, Hagenson still scored touchdown. And look at Eric Bieniemy, injured and out, and on the sidelines cheering them on. This kick not as deep by Culbertson. Flowers returns it from a yard deep in the end zone. He's got a man in front of him to block. Flowers with a big return to the 40-yard line, but a flag is down. Of Nebraska on the run back. Think of Nebraska open. Carpenter and Clark in the backfield. Out of there in motion is Bell. Running the option. Godowski gets past the 20 to the 21-yard line. Second down and four. Clark. Clark. Spins for the first down for Nebraska. Tim James on the tackle. First and 10, Nebraska. Godowski now pitches to Clark. Clark to the 46-yard line. Heard Colorado, but thus far in this game, first and 20, Nebraska from the 17-yard line. John Bostic has come in as a receiver. Godowski keeps. Godowski with room. Godowski to midfield and a first down for Nebraska. <laughs> Hit the football in Colorado territory at the 48. Now steps oh. back oh. Oh. and throws off his back foot and out of bounds. Second down and 10. Huskers inside of three minutes first quarter. Colorado leading 14-7. <laughs> Late pitch to Clark. And he gains one. Football is loose. They're going to rule it down. And six years for the Raiders. Third and long. Godowski throwing. And a pass is over the head of Gregory. Advance it to about the 41 anyway. Stiggy with pressure gets it away. Campbell watches it sail out of bounds. 30 run-ins with the law. Flanagan on the run. Mills. Can't hold on. Now he's raced out by Pickens. Second and six. Flanagan had picked up four. Hagan steps back and throws. Ooh. He is hit. The ball is incomplete. Third and six for Colorado. Hagan fumbles. The ball is loose and it's recovered by the Buffaloes. Black Phillips. And now the snap back, Pickens comes in on him, Ruin gets it away. That was close. Hughes on the return. Hughes breaks the tackle. Swings free and steps out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Final 30 seconds of the first quarter. A wild one with Colorado leading 14-7. Sam Schmidt in at fullback, hand off to Clark. Oh, they're gonna whistle the play dead. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Clark and Schmidt now in the backfield. Schmidt, the fullback. Delay give to Clark. Oh, what a tackle by Bruce Young. With Colorado leading 14-7, college football on CBS Sports returns after this message and a word from your local station. We start the second quarter. Jim Nance along with Pat Hayden and John Dockery, Nebraska. Second and 14 from its own 46-yard line. Godowski will keep it. He has all kinds of room. Pass the first down inside the 40 at the 37. Going with Clark. Wow. He is knocked down. Been a problem for him since the opener against Northern Illinois. Oh, a stop. Dead ball. Dead ball Full start of the offense. Well, second down, 12. And again, Nebraska is stuffed at the line of scrimmage every game this year. Third and 13 for Nebraska. That last carry by Carpenter. Well, he went out of bounds. 
And a pass is caught inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. The receiver was out of bounds. First and goal for the Huskers. Carpenter and Clark in the backfield. Lining up in the power eye. With Turner coming in there well as well. Godowski hammered down by Canavis McGee. Second and goal for Nebraska. And Godowski just lobs it through the end zone. Third and goal from the 12 for the Cornhuskers. Godowski for Gregory. Touchdown, Nebraska. Goes to tie the game on the extra point. He does. 14 all. Can't give a wide receiver this much room. Gregory wide open for an easy score. Field goal attempts for Nebraska. He's a lefty as well as Barrios, the other kicker. Here's Pritchard on the return, and he does not make it to the 20. First and 10 for the Buffs. Hagen pitching to Flanagan again. No game. Wow. Just like Morgan Gregory's just scored the tying touchdown. He's from Denver. Flanagan on second and nine. Nothing there for the Buffaloes. Hagan here running the option. He'll keep. Cut it back to the middle. Mills rides his back to the 28-yard line. They pick up the first down. Hagan tripped up momentarily. Now a rush coming on him. Ooh, and the pass is short of a wide open Mike Pritchard. A hairline fracture of his leg could play possible. Flanagan has to wait for the pitch and now wrestled down by Reggie Cooper. Right next to Lake Pontchartrain. Third down and 11. Hagan with the rush coming on. Looking for Campbell. I think he's overthrown him. That's another dandy by Ruin. And Hughes on the return to the 27-yard line. A pretty good Washington team in Oklahoma. First and 10, Nebraska, from its own 27-yard line. Ken Clark trying to get unleashed, and he picks up a first down at the 40. All time, third rusher at Nebraska, could pass. I am hit today and move into second. Needs 140. Carpenter taking the pass from Godowski, moving into the Colorado side of the field at the 45-yard line. Just like my grandmother tells me. <laughs> Carpenter again. That's Clark, Kratzen, Stein, and Garrett. Godowski now plants his feet, was looking to throw. Alfred Williams on his back. Incomplete. No in the grass rule. Third and ten, a very important down for the Colorado defense right here. Godowski to Bostic. He would not have had the first down anyway. Turn on the last punt. Stiggy aiming for the left side of the field. Good punt. Huskers mm. over the bounce into the end zone. And a touchback. This is their all-time record. Inside handoff to Kissick. And Kissick. Two years ago, he had three games where he rushed for over 120 yards. Now he hardly ever sees it. On second and short, Hagan got the necessary yardage. Michigan State manhandled Indiana today and Anthony Thompson. Hagan looking for Campbell again. Incomplete. His team aiming at an Orange Bowl. He played in two Orange Bowls when he was at Missouri as a player. Flanagan has some room and just short of a first down at the 40-yard line. Third and one. This situation Colorado always conquers. Hagan leaps and hurdles his way for the first down. Fun to watch. Now inside five minutes, first down, Hagan. Just back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. Second down and eight. Pitch a low and fielded by Flanagan. Does a good job just to hold on to it. Kissick offset from his fullback position. Flanagan the tailback and movement on the right side. Vanderpool. Yep. Third and 14. Ooh. 
And again, the flags come out. Where are those penalties? And now, this... They go with the double tight end set. John Parrott, the starter, lined up on the left side. They'll pitch it, run it with Flanagan. Flanagan looking for the corner. He won't get it because Tyrone Bird was waiting for him. Over 47 yards a kick on the road, 46 at home. He didn't catch all of this one. He did a good bounce. Hughes lets it roll around down near the 10-yard line. Worst starting field position for Nebraska. Good fake by Godowski, looking for Gregory, but over the head of Gregory. Second down and 10. Sam Schmidt in the backfield. They run it with the wing, Richard Bell. And Bell is buried at the nine. From the nine-yard line, it's third and 11 for Nebraska. Colorado has two timeouts remaining. Quarterback draw with Godowski. And he's short of the first down. Bruce Young came up. Setting up a return, a low kick. He drives it to Campbell at his own 45. He'll try the middle, only for five. And Flanagan remains the tailback. Hagan running it for three yards. Pritchard, bottom portion of your screen. Second and seven. Hagan rifles the pass to Hemingway and a first down. From the 38. Oh, Hagan is hit on the blitz. Actually, Kent Wells got him. They came racing in there, the Cornhuskers. Ran right over the guard to make the play. Hagan stops the clock as he throws it out of bounds. He has kicked them 60 yards in practice. Hagan. No, he's not down. <laughs> Here he goes, Hagan. Wow. And he gets him in field goal range. He's <laughs> short of the first down. Officially, it's 49 yards. His career long is 52. His long of 89 is 47 yards. Culbertson has the distance, has the accuracy. Colorado leads. I see you, Kenny. Formerly the Golden Gopher coach. Little pooch kick by Culbertson. And raced out to the 39-yard line. Gregory left, Bell in a slot left. Will Godowski try a long one here before the half? He does indeed, and he's got a man open. Wow, there were two Cornhuskers in the area, only one defender, but he got a defender over there in a hurry. He got McGee on the line, but it doesn't matter. They're running the football with Ken Clark. Clark picks up big yardage, but the half ends. 21-yard gain by Clark. But it's a 17-14 lead by Colorado with the Big 8 championship and a first in the Orange Bowl and a possible duel with Notre Dame on the line today here in Boulder. 17-14 at the intermission. Now let's take it back to New York. Culbertson drives it midway through the end zone. And Bell will down it. This Colorado defense has not given up a touchdown in the third quarter all season long. Only two field goals. Inside give to Carpenter. And a gain of three. Second down and seven from the 23-yard line. Ken Clark, 10 carries, 42 yards in the first half. Most of that on the last carry of the half. Here he goes again. Clark gets the first down past the 30. <laughs> They'll run right over you, that's for sure. First and 10, Nebraska. Clark, the middle, kind of lost his footing. He should have gotten more out of Second down, eight. They'll try Clark again to the 36-yard line. Washington's the tight end tucked on the right side. Ooh. Wow, an immediate give to the fullback and nowhere to go is Joel Steed in that whole line of Colorado. Prayer to honor Salonesi. And the kick by Stiggy comes to Campbell at the 26. He has an opening. Here he goes, Jeff Campbell. He may break it. He is run down by Richard Bell. Well, he takes it upfield. 53-yard return. Colorado inside the 20 of Nebraska. 
Hagan. To the 13-yard line. The area, just as Holloway did. He saw Jamel first play in a Pop Warner game in the seventh grade. And Hagan running the option right this time. Keeping it and getting to the 10-yard line, about a yard short of the first. Pissett, Pritchard, and Flanagan in the full house backfield for Colorado. Flanagan, first down, Buffalo. First and goal from the seventh. From the right hash mark, we'll run it left. And now the play is whistle dead. Dead ball. Ball start. The offense. MJ Nelson at the bottom of your screen. Flanagan, Pritchard, and Kissick in the backfield. Hagan will keep. Running the short side, picking up a short game. Running the option, the enemy. He's going to throw. And the pass. Flagged down. I believe it's intercepted. Tyrone Leggett has the enemy through. Defensive pass interference. Wow. First. So, take it away. So, take away the interception. First and goal from the two. Flanagan hit at the knees by Kent Wells, Colorado. Richard Kissing Flanagan in the full house backfield. Richard in motion. Running the option. The late pitch to Flanagan. Looking for the corner. He has it. Touchdown, Colorado. A student in the background picking up an orange. Oranges are flying from the stands. And Colorado leads by 10. Darian Hagan will show the defense the ball, and you have to attack the ball. And once you do that, then he pitches it to J.J. Flanagan, and no one's going to catch him on the corner of the defense. J.J. Flanagan has not forgotten last year on his fumble. Missed out on a touchdown attempt for Colorado. This ball will be down in the end zone by Tyrone Hughes. Godowski running the option and no gain. Chad Brown. Nate Turner to the left, Gregory to the right. Kratzenstein tucked in on the left side, out of the eye on second down. And again, no gain. Ken Clark, third and nine for Nebraska. Looks like a busted play. Godowski has a man open. And it's Richard Bell, the wingback, from the 34. Ken Clark slashing and getting to the 40-yard line. Second down, four. From the Nebraska 40. Ken Clark hit first by Bruce Young. Third and one, Nebraska. Pitch to Clark. First down, Nebraska. And into Colorado territory at the 49-yard line. First and ten. Clark goes out in motion. Bell runs it. And Bell gets to the 44-yard line. Second down four from the 43 of the Buffaloes. Godowski keeps. Fumbled momentarily and brought it back in. The Turner Gill or Steve Taylor, the current record holder. Godowski now dropping back, throwing and complete to Kretzenstein for a first down. <laughs> Bell and Turner on the wings. First and 10, Godowski keeps to the 27-yard line. A four-yard pickup. Second down, six. Going with Carpenter. And Carpenter to the 26-yard line. Will the Cornhuskers. Godowski. Gets away from the first wave. Looking at the end zone. Man open. It's Chris Garrett. Touchdown, Nebraska. <laughs> Dunlap on 
the hole. 24-21 now, Colorado. Two heavyweights. And then Chris Garrett did a nice job of adjusting to the ball. And Nebraska is right back in it. And struggling against Oregon today. The kick by Drennan, a short one into the wind. MJ Nelson on the return. He's racing to the left side, looking for some more blocks. Gets to the 34-yard line. Florida State's in the picture with two losses. No team's ever won the national championship with two losses, but they have come back quickly in the top ten. Fumble football by Hemingway and fallen on by Lewinberg. Second down and two after the recovery by Lewinberg. Kissick's back in at fullback. Hagan's going to keep it. Has the first down to the 48-yard line. Colorado has won 28 straight games when leading after three. They lead it right now by three. 24-21, 15 minutes to go in the battle for the Big Eight. We'll continue after this message and a word from your local station. With Colorado leading Nebraska 24-21. Jim Nance along with Pat Hayden and John Dockery. And Colorado on first and ten. And Hagan will tuck it in and gets tripped up near midfield by Mike Murray. Second and eight. Flanagan cutting his way only for a yard. I knew we had a good team, and I, I'm very pleased with Jerry Godowski, the way he's come up, and I just hope that we can win. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Jim. First down. Hemingway now the fullback. Hemingway with the football, and he barrels his way for three. For a loss by Mike Kroll, this defense for Nebraska. Third and 11. Hagan running left and into the open. Inside of the 20 and out of bounds at the 19. He may have scored had he cut it to the inside. On first and 10, it's Hagan again. He may get his touchdown here. No, he stopped at the three yard line. First and goal. Oh, it's hanging hit by Pickens, Bruce Pickens. Second and goal. Play is whistled dead. In ball, false start Oof. on the offense. Second down. Hemingway, Pritchard, and Flanagan in the backfield. And again, Hagan is hit. And no game. Same backfield. Pitch to Flanagan. And a loss back to the 11 yard line. Kroll comes up. This could be a series Colorado regrets. First and goal from the two, a chance to go up two scores. They settle for the field goal. It hooks through there. It's good. And it's 27 21. Buffaloes. Less than nine minutes to go, but Nebraska still within a touchdown. Hughes and Flowers back deep for Nebraska. Into that win, the kick only comes to the 12-yard line. Richard Bell on the return. Now that's that is Flowers. He played in the NFC Championship game against the Bucks. Yeah, you had to remind me, didn't you? <laughs> Ken Clark. Tackled by Tim James, but he gets all the way to the 39-yard line. Then down and less than a yard. Now Bell in motion. And Godowski looking to go along the Bell. And McLuhan on the coverage. And he's always overshadowed. Now he has a chance to drive Nebraska to victory. It's third down and less than a yard. Ken Clark looking for it. He gets the first down and up to the 45-yard line. First and 10 from their own 45. Ken Clark. No, well, that's actually Nate Turner from a wing. Ken Clark is out. Leotis Flowers is the tailback. Second down. Flowers carries. He's hit immediately by Walker. Third and five. Nebraska faced several third down situations on its last touchdown possession Clark's back in the game third and five pass caught first down Gregory and running for 12 
First down, he pitches it to Clark. Cutting, looking for a hole, getting to the 35-yard line. Second down and four. They go inside with Carpenter, and he picks up the first down for Nebraska. Ken Clark, only a yard. Blair Thomas almost all the way downfield before missing the game-winning field goal at the end. Now, Godowski was looking to throw. He'll run it, and he's out of bounds at the 24-yard line. National championship possibility, and now the biggest third down for Nebraska on third and four. Godowski looking to pitch. No one there, and Joel Steed had a hold of him. A fourth and six. Over the years, Nebraska's had big plays out of the wingbacks. coverage with Bostic, but they go to Bill, and it's incomplete. The pass was short. Hagan is tripped up right after the exchange. Second and 13 after the big play by Wells. Hagan keeps swarmed under seven-yard line, and it's... Nebraska will get the football back. Mike Murray ran down the line. Come charging in. Pickens came from the outside, but Ruin got it away. And now Hughes lets it bounce around. Poor judgment. And now Nebraska will have to drive 88 yards to get to Miami. And ruin there on the punt. That ball did roll 18 yards. With the wind at their backs. First and 10, Nebraska. Godowski setting up a screen. The Carpenter incomplete. Godowski has Gregory open. Incomplete. The nickelback, Greg Thomas, came over and batted away. They run the football with Carpenter, and it only nets two yards. This is the last chance for Nebraska. Kodowski to Gregory, first down, and he's out of bounds. Boy, he had an open sideline. 72 yards away from victory. Godowski across the middle. What a oh. catch! Wow, Richard Bell leaping up with one hand and bringing it down. Because he is well covered. And Godowski throws it off the wrong foot. The left hand goes up and catches it on one pass, one hand. Then he gets drilled by Thomas. 20-yard gain. The clock had been stopped to move the chains. Now it's put back into play. Left sideline, and incomplete. Two Cornhuskers in the area. Turner and Ball. Bell again, incomplete. for Kretzenstein. Folks in Colorado get ready to call for reservations to Miami. Morgan Gregory. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. He's past the line. He goes for lines. He's past the line of scrimmage, and it's incomplete anyway.
It took 100 years of Colorado football to get in position to play for a national championship. It took about 10 seconds for the goalposts to come down today in Boulder. 